Beloved child of God, today's message is one of power, sovereignty, and the profound mystery of God's unsearchable wisdom and of His boundless grace towards you. We are reminded that no obstacle is too great, no enemy too powerful, and no situation beyond redemption when God is on our side. From the promises to His chosen people in Isaiah, to the magnificent unfolding of His eternal plan in Ephesians, we see that God is always working, always moving. In our moments of deepest despair, He comes as the Savior, the Redeemer, and the One who makes a way where there seems to be none. As we read through today's scriptures, let the truth sink in that God is not only for us but has prepared glorious things beyond our comprehension, things that He reveals to those who trust in Him. Let us open our hearts and minds to receive today's word with this theme, God's incomparable sovereignty and boundless grace. But before that let's go to God our Father in prayers. Thank you Holy Spirit for your presence. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude for another opportunity to study your word. Lord, we ask for your Holy Spirit to guide us as we explore the depths of your scriptures today. May your truth take root in our hearts, and may we see your hand in our lives as clearly as the people of Israel did in Isaiah's time. Teach us through your word, Lord, and remind us of your great plans for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Amen. Beloved, thank you for joining today as we embark on a journey through God's living word. Each day is a chance to uncover new revelations, and today's passages hold powerful truths about the nature of God's sovereignty and His plan of grace for us. Let's jointly explore the treasures within Isaiah 43 verse 14 to chapter 45 verse 10, Ephesians chapter 3 verses 1 to 21, Psalm 68 verses 1 to 18, and Proverbs chapter 24 verses 1 and 2. Isaiah 43 verse 14 to chapter 45 verse 10, God's promise to restore and His sovereign plan. In Isaiah 43 verse 14 to 28, we find God declaring His power to deliver His people from the grasp of Babylon. The tone is one of triumph as God promises not only to free Israel but to blot out their transgressions and remember their sins no more. Here, God is portrayed as the Redeemer who reclaims what is His, regardless of the power of their oppressors. Moving into Isaiah 44 verses 1-8, God speaks tenderly to Israel, affirming them as His chosen. He promises to pour out His Spirit on their descendants like water on parched land, a clear reference to spiritual revival and restoration. This speaks to us today as well, no matter how desolate or far from God we may feel, He promises to revive us with His Spirit and restore us as His chosen people. Isaiah 45 verses 1-10 brings the narrative to Cyrus, the Persian king whom God names as his anointed to subdue nations and set the captives free. This passage is a powerful reminder that God uses anyone, even those outside his covenant people, to fulfill his plans. It reinforces his sovereignty over all creation, he is the God who forms light and creates darkness, who brings prosperity and calamity. He rules everything, and no one can question His ways. In today's world, we often question God's plans, especially when things don't go as we expect. But Isaiah's passages remind us that God is always working behind the scenes, orchestrating events for His greater purpose. When we face trials or opposition, we must remember that God's plans are beyond our understanding, and He will use any means necessary to accomplish His will. Whether it's a Cyrus or the difficulties we face, God is in control. Ephesians 3 verses 1 to 21, The Mystery of God's Grace. In Ephesians 3, Paul opens up about the great mystery of the gospel, a mystery that had been hidden for ages but is now revealed. The Gentiles, once considered outsiders, are now fellow heirs with Israel, sharing in the promise of Christ. This chapter is all about unity, God's grace was not just for the Jews but for all people, breaking down every dividing wall. Paul's prayer in verses 14-21 to is a beautiful petition for spiritual strength, love, 
and fullness. He prays that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith and that we may grasp the enormity of God's love, its width, length, height, and depth, and be filled with the fullness of God. In our individualistic world, this passage is a call to unity in Christ. We are reminded that God's grace knows no boundaries. It transcends race, culture, and background. Paul's prayer challenges us to seek the fullness of God's presence in our lives, knowing that only through His power can we comprehend His love and grace. It encourages us to love others with the same depth and magnitude that Christ loves us. Psalm 68 verses 1-18, The Majesty of God in Victory Psalm 68 is a song of triumph, celebrating God's victorious power as He leads His people. Verse 1 opens with, Let God arise, and His enemies be scattered, capturing the essence of God's overwhelming might. The psalm reflects on Israel's journey from Egypt, the provision of God in the wilderness, and His conquest over the enemies of His people. It describes God as the victorious King who rides on the heavens, bringing salvation and deliverance. This psalm serves as a reminder of God's mighty hand in delivering His people. No enemy can stand before Him. In our personal lives, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by battles and opposition. But Psalm 68 assures us that God is still the God of victory. He fights for us, and His enemies scatter before Him. Proverbs 24 verses 1-2, Avoid the path of wickedness. Proverbs 24 warns against envy toward those who do evil. It reminds us not to desire the company of the wicked, for their hearts plot violence and their lips speak of destruction. The world often glorifies those who achieve success through unrighteous means, tempting us to follow in their footsteps. However, this proverb urges us to remember that their path leads to destruction. Instead, we are called to follow the way of righteousness, which leads to life and peace. Now a recap of key takeaways. 1. God's Sovereignty We must trust that God's plans are perfect, even when we do not understand them. His control extends over all things, and His purposes will always prevail. 2. Grace and Unity God's grace is available to all, and we are called to love and accept one another, regardless of our differences, just as Christ has loved us. 3. Victory in God No Enemy challenge, or trial can stand against the mighty power of God. He fights for His people and brings victory. 4. Avoiding Wickedness We must guard our hearts against envy and the temptation to follow those who seem successful but walk in unrighteousness. As we draw to a close, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank You for the richness of Your Word today. Thank You for reminding us of Your sovereignty, that You are in control over every circumstance in our lives. Lord, help us to walk in the unity and love You've called us to, and may we always seek the fullness of Your Spirit. Father, we trust that You are our victorious King, scattering our enemies and leading us in triumph. Give us wisdom to avoid the paths of wickedness and to follow Your ways. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving, Amen and Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you were blessed by this study of God's Word. As always, we appreciate your continued support and for subscribing to the channel. Stay strong in the faith, and may the Lord's blessings be upon you and your family. Until next time, God bless you. Shalom.